I previously showed how I manage wanting lists with my orders that I've made and updating them to make sure I'm not over ordering on parts that I'm wanting. Uh, but I thought I'd do another video that covers off creating wanted lists and a couple of ways that you can do that. Uh, so here we are on my um, basic page of wanted lists that I have currently. But let's say um, you want to create a set that perhaps is out of your price range. And for purposes of today, we're going to use 75512, the uh, Millennium Falcon cockpit from the San Diego Comic-Con 2018. So um, $1,000 to purchase that set brand new um, or $266 US um, roughly for a new set or for a used about $90. But let's say we want to just kind of build it ourselves. What you do is you go to this tab here, which is part out and it takes you through to this screen where you can see some various options. You can see that there's 196 parts, two minifigures. If you want the box, you could include that. If you want the instructions, you can include that, but you can probably find those online. And then from here, you can create a new wanted list. So 75512 cockpit list. Select what kind of condition bricks you want, whether you're not bothered, whether you want new, whether you want news. I'm going to go for new bricks and then submit for entry. And then you're taken through to a screen which just shows you the individual parts. And you can tailor here quantities or make remarks if you wanted to. If you wanted notifications when those parts became available or someone added them to their inventory when they send out notifications. Um, and as you can see from the, the kind of the inventory, nothing particularly crazy. This little part here, perhaps not so easy to find. But other than that, that one, maybe this one, maybe a little bit trickier, but otherwise pretty easy to find, I would say. So everything, if you're happy with everything, you just simply add that to your wanted list. The part out has been successful. Click on view the, the list and it takes you through to see it. And obviously from there, you can go to buy all. And this screen will kind of show you all of the sellers selling all of the parts that you um, need. And if you click auto select, it'll just go through it um, and select the best options for you. I think, I don't know how reliable this is. It works out that it's gonna cost you $120 in bricks, whereas what was it 90 US dollars, whatever that works out at, it's probably comparable. Shipping's on top. Um, Queensland Brick has 157 parts, Bricks Pile Joel's got 137 and Adelaide's got one. Um, you can go into each of these lists and have a look to see what they've got. Um, always interesting to just go in and sense check the prices to make sure you, it, some of them aren't just mental. You know, these parts actually aren't too bad. 45 cents for that, it's not too bad. So yeah, that's not it's not too crazy as a, as a set pass. So, and from there you can buy it. And then as I showed in my previous video about wanted lists, you can update that wanted list accordingly. Now, the other way that you can do this is using this button at the top where you just create an empty wanted list. So let's just call this one San Diego set. Helps if I could type. And we create a set which is actually an empty wanted list. And then you could add individual parts to that, whatever you wanted to add to it. Or you could then find a set or sets if you wanted to create more than one set. You know, you wanted to recreate more than one set within one wanted list. But you just then can add the parts into your existing wanted list. So you go through the same process. You find your set that you want. You go to part out. But rather than create new, you find your wanted list from the drop down menu so san diego set same options apply we want it new we submit for entry and then just add to the wanted list and there we have it all those parts in there and we can go forth and manage it from there as well and it's as simple as that that's pretty much the two ways to run it you can create a brick store file and add that directly like export your brick store file into um, the wanted list as well. 
um, if I fire up brick store I can quickly show you that uh, if we make a set inventory you import that in let's just give it some pricing okay so you go export wanted list enter the ID so it's the um, San Diego set I'm going to add that in there and it'll pop up this screen where we just want the XML uh, we want San Diego set and we're just going to paste that into there and proceed to verify those items already exist obviously because we've added to them so we just add it in job done so there's a few ways that you can add to it we now are looking for two complete sets of the San Diego set so if anyone wants one I'm gonna have two of them not really but you get the gist and that's it the three ways that you can create uh, and build your wanted lists easy as I hope that was useful if it was please do give it a thumbs up do like and subscribe to the channel uh, for more hints and tips as we go forward and thanks for watching